So if you're the type of person that does jujitsu, you know that the sport is actually kind of gross. One, it's super touchy and you gotta be comfortable cuddling everyone around you. And you have to be okay with sharing some DNA, some body, bodily fluids, some sweat, and some other yucky things. So I'm going to go through my seven top tips for hygiene for jiu-jitsu. And as a female, I think it's better that I talk about this because I'm probably a little bit cleaner than some of the dudes. And I know what it's like to be turned off a sport because it's kind of gross. And I believe if everyone followed these seven rules, more females like myself would get into the sport and not be turned away because it is a little yucky and if it wasn't for geese and it wasn't for doing the sport in the winter in a club full of girls that was a little bit cleaner, then I probably would not continue with the sport if I went to some of the gyms that I have been to. Tip number one, all you guys should know this by now, and that is shower. Please make sure you shower before the session. Now, if you're doing a 6 a.m. morning session, it means when you wake up, Go shower, even if you know you're going to be doing a workout, you're still a little bit smelly from the night before. If you're doing a midday session and you've showered before, then it can pass. But if you're doing an afternoon or evening session and you've been at work all day, you've been collecting sweat, you've been going out the heat, especially if it's in the middle of the summer, then make sure when you get to the gym, you jump in the shower or you jump in the shower before you go to training because no one wants to be stuck with the smelly guy on the mats. And the same goes for brushing your teeth. If you wake up in the morning, brush those teeth before you start rubbing your face up against mine and if you had something for lunch that has a little bit of garlic or onion give those teeth a little bit of a scrub number two wear flip flops or shoes off the mat this is like a basic rule right but you'd think everyone would follow it but mm -mm, we don't how would you feel if you grabbed like someone's foot and just like rubbed it all across your face after they went to the toilet or just go onto the bathroom floor and then just like rub your face all over the floor it's kind of gross now if you're going to the bathroom and you're walking back on the mat and do not put flip-flops on that's exactly what you're doing you're making me rub my face across the bathroom floor or all on the streets and it's kind of disgusting so i really recommend the second you step off the mat it's hard sometimes i do this as well sometimes after between training i'll go to my water bottle and i won't actually put on flip-flops but if i'm walking to the bathroom i am putting flip-flops on and i see i've even been to clubs and coaches have not been walking onto the mat and walking on and off the mat fat flip-flops some clubs actually make you wipe your feet before you go on and off the mat and that's really good for hygiene but please get a really good pair of easy flip-flops and wear them on and off the mat i do recommend gyms should actually have spare in case people forget this or aren't wearing flip-flops just so they don't walk into the bathroom and i do not want to have your feet of the feet and the floor all across my face Number three is you don't want to be the smelly guy in the gym that no one wants to roll with. Some people do sweat more than other people, but if you don't smell, it makes it a little bit easier to want to roll with you and want to be covered in your sweat. Now, it's washing geese. When you wash your gi, um, make sure you wash it after every use. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to use it tomorrow. It doesn't smell that bad. Please make sure you wash your gi. I do recommend stain remover, and if you do have a lot of body odor or it's the middle of summer and you're in Australia or like Brazil or somewhere extremely hot then I recommend soaking your gi and with your no gi stuff if you train in places that I train in places that you always smell bad afterwards because of the sweat and the mats weren't that good I always make sure I, sm I soaked my no gi stuff now when your stuff gets that it's called a jiu-jitsu smell and over time your tights and your under armor and your underclothes start getting a jiu-jitsu smell that is the time to get rid of them don't just think that because it's already got a little bit of a smell and then you go into jiu-jitsu anyway that's fine because as soon as you start sweating i get to smell that smell and that smell rubs all over me and it is really yucky so please don't be the smelly guy on the mat or smelly girl and make sure you soak and wash your clothes correctly i will do a video on how to wash your clothes correctly if you guys want if none of you guys know how to do your laundry public we are all adults come on people Number four is a rare one that I actually don't see very often and that is washing your mouth guard after every use. Now, I get lazy with this sometimes and I do not wash my mouth guard all the time. Sometimes I will leave the gym and I forget to go straight to the bathroom after training and wash it. But it actually gets a build up of all this crap. Now this is a custom mouth guard and so it does have all the grinds on my teeth and there is a build up 
going on already even though after training i do rinse it in the sink quickly one more thing i recommend is at least every month you give it a proper brush now have your own little toothbrush and give it a full-on brush and scrub if you're really good do it weekly but this thing is going back in your mouth and you don't want it to be building up of grime and gross and dirt like you'll pull this off sometimes and you'll have a hair like a random hair just just hanging out in there just chilling and you really hope that it's not a pube <laughs> you should just hope it's not a pube but you get random hairs you get random things in here you get built up of blood mine is tinted now yellow from the amount of times i've been hit in the mouth and it's got stained blood so mine is due for another really good scrub because it's got enough stained blood also on that note if you drop your mouth guard on the mat do not put it back in your mouth take it straight to the washroom give it a rinse and then when you get home give that a good ass scrub because the last thing you want is staff inside your mouth i've never seen it before and i do not want to see it that'd be really gross number five after you finish your session i recommend especially for people who have skin conditions or break out easter like i do as soon as you finish your session go to the bathroom wash your hands with soap and wash your face a lot of gyms have paper towels or take your own towel and make sure you're not ha you're not leaving the jiu-jitsu germs on your face and on your hands because when you finish training you're constantly doing this and you're sweating and you're wiping it and you're touching and some people go out and then go eat a burger and they've still got jiu-jitsu all over their hands make sure you go quickly wash your hands and wash your face at the same time wash your mouth guard number six is after training sessions make sure this is for girls in particular make sure you wash your hair guys will generally wash their hair straight away when in the shower because it dries but us girls will try and aim for like three to four days with that hair washing but your hair does get kind of gross i do try and pr plan my schedule my hair washing schedule around my training and i recommend you doing the same on the shower note one thing i didn't say before is when you are showering i recommend using defense soap or um like armbar soap one of those soaps that actually take off the bacteria take off the like bad bacteria and stuff on your skin the germs but won't kill the good bacteria the microbiomes that are building up on your skin so you'll kill the bad stuff and not the good stuff so after you so i use a defense soap i use a liquid form not a bar soap form because i feel like it's gonna be a little bit better for me um but I use that after every time i do jujitsu and i try my best it doesn't always happen is to wash my hair after training and number seven like it last you guys all know, should all know this one should but not everyone does is make sure you cut your fingers and toenails now the reason for that is because you will scratch people and if there's already staff or there's been a staff outbreak on the mat and you scratch someone they're gonna get the, there's a chance of them getting staff and it's really not a fun journey i've had staff three times from yucky jiu-jitsu mats it's been like a mosquito bite or something and i've had a cut from nails and just within a week i've been on the mats and i've gotten a staff infection and a staff infection means no more training for at least a week and that is not fun when your body is feeling fit and healthy and you have to take antibiotics which is one you should not be taking antibiotics if you don't have to but if you have staff you kind of have to and it means you can't train which is a bit of a bummer so making sure you cut those nails because sometimes you don't realize but you're grabbing someone's neck and they're pulling away and you're just scratching a lot of times i'll see um i have like people got like toenail scratches in their feet or on their hands or on their body i'll have random scratches just from people's nails so more than likely your coach has nail clippers on the desk or just ask him or someone around usually carries a pair of nail clippers so keep your toenails and fingernails nice and short Thank you guys so much for checking out my video on seven hygiene tips for jiu-jitsu if everyone did this like i said before i think more people will be encouraged to do the sport because i think a lot of people turned away from the sport because it's kind of gross in a way like there's a lot of body contact and a lot of you know sharing bodily fluids and dealing with a lot of people they wouldn't necessarily be that close to but once you get over this and once you deal with people who are nice and clean, it does change that a little bit. So try and stick to these seven things as much as possible, as close as possible. And it'll be a little bit better for everyone else on the map. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for checking out my video. I'm going to do a quick video soon on the grossest things that has happened to me in Jiu Jitsu. I have a nice list going on. And I have actually just moved apartments. This is my new little office space and I'm going to do some funky things on the walls behind me if you have any cool quotes or anything you think i should put up 
let me know in the comments below and a bunch of cool new things coming up i'm gonna do a little bit more videoing now that i've officially moved and i've got a little bit more of a routine going on so if you haven't already press that big red subscribe button right there pretty sure it's right there maybe it's there i think so and in the meantime keep being strong happy and healthy and keep showering <laughs>